Saturday noon devotion for March 21st. We'll be using for our devotion uh, the prayer for noon on page 296 of the Lutheran Service Book. Our reading for this, this noon will be from the Gospel of St. Mark, the 13th chapter, verses 24 through 27. Our devotion will be in part from this wonderful book, Lutheran Prayer Companion, and also my own devotion for you. Uh, we will also be singing the hymn, 666, O Little Flock, Fear Not the Foe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So there's 
there's nothing so bad it can't get worse. Hear the, what Scripture says about the coming of the Son of Man. In those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be fallen from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. I know it seems as though our world has been turned upside down, but it's not as bad as it could be. Go outside, you hear the birds singing. I'm reminded of God's grace and His mercy as I see the world around me, the natural world, the world that God orders without the aid of man. The birds are eating their seeds and their bugs and their worms. The frogs are beginning to croak. You see signs of life everywhere, even in the midst of the pestilence that surrounds us. It could be much worse. The sun still rises in the east and sets in the west. On a clear night, you can still see the stars shining in the heavens and the moon to give us light in the night. So it's not quite as bad as it could be. What else does Scripture say? And then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. So, okay, it'll get worse. But our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, will come for us. Of this we can be certain. Our Lord Jesus Christ has not forsaken us, nor will he forsake us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is there with us in all of our trials, in all of our tribulations. Our Lord Jesus Christ will come again, and we have nothing to fear. Be of good cheer. Your cause belongs to him who can avenge your wrongs. Leave it to him, our Lord. Though hidden yet from mortal eyes, his Gideon shall for you arise, uphold you in his word. God will not forsake us. God will not leave us. Behold, he is with us always, even to the end of the age. And what a blessed thing it is to be able to gather still around his word, to rejoice in his word in the face of uncertainty, in the face of things that none of us have faced before. We still stand fearless, for we are God's little flock. Christ is our good shepherd, and he will not so quickly turn us over. No, he will carry us with his nail-scarred hands to that new heavens and that new earth where there is no more weeping or mourning, where the sun shall not strike by day nor the moon by night. No pestilence will be where Christ has prepared for us. And so we put our hope in this, not in the temporary trials we endure. We put our hope in Christ Jesus, our good, our good shepherd, our good savior, who will not leave us or forsake us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue now with the prayers. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Prayers continue now with a prayer from the Lutheran Prayer Companion, a prayer in Contagious Epidemics and Plagues on page 263. Almighty, everlasting God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of heaven and earth, we poor miserable sinners must confess that we have most dreadfully angered you, O God, with our sinful life and being. Wherefore, you justly pour out your wrath upon us and attack us with various plagues, epidemics, and diseases. What then should we do? Should we despair? Far be it. We know that we deserve not only the epidemic which now rages as a punishment for our manifold sins, but even greater and more heinous plagues than this. Where then shall we flee, and where shall we turn that we may be safe from this and other plagues and pandemics. To you alone, Lord Jesus Christ. We have no other comfort, either in heaven or on earth, except you who have redeemed us. Surely you will not cast off your creation. Therefore, we humbly call, sigh, and cry out to you with our whole heart, saying, God, be merciful unto us and blot out all our sins according to your exceeding great grace, goodness, and 
mercy. Cease from your displeasure, wrath, and indignation toward us. Show us again your grace and spare us from the epidemic and abominable sickness which now rages. Listen to our pleas, O Lord, listen to our pleas and spare us. Kindly protect and shelter us that this epidemic may not hurt or come near us, nor seize or take us away. But if it be your divine will that we should end our life in this epidemic and depart this world, your gracious will be done, for it is always the best. Hereupon we commend ourselves, our body and soul, wife and child, and all our household, into your divine grace and fatherly hand, humbly beseeching from our heart that, if we should meet our final hour unexpectedly, and even now approach the time when our body and soul must separate, you would mercifully preserve our faculty of reason, that we may be able with a clear mind to commend our soul to you, and grant us further a blessed end, that we, passing through temporal death, which is the end of all sorrow and misery, and opens to us the door of eternal life, may the more speedily enter into the same eternal life, and come to our Redeemer and Savior, and with all the elect of God in heaven eternally rejoice. Amen. you peace.